ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. I remember my humble self, Francis, and it's been a while I posted because um, the exams have not been um, scheduled. But right now, the exams have been scheduled, and we have to write our this particular on the 18th. So, these are, um, this is the first, second question which deals with light. Okay? And in what way I we should provide? I think we should provide um, a drawing paper. Then optical pins. We know what optical pins is. Okay, this is called optical pins. Okay. Then I think we should also provide a plain mirror. Okay, this is a plain mirror that we're going to use for this practical. Okay, I think we should provide a protractor and mirrors or that mirror holder. Okay. So from what I said, uh, from what Philip said, I was able to draft out a question, and this is the illustration of the question we are going to use. So. Um, explain what we are going to do in the practical. So let's just proceed. I'm going to explain the, the diagram for us before we do it practically. So um, the A B line A B represents my mirror. Okay, so I'm going to place my mirror in my drawing on my drawing paper and trace the outline. The outline stands for A B. Of course, you know what these lines mean. These lines mean that the back of the mirror is silver. Okay? Then after that, I am going to take, I'm going to uh, extend line AC. Okay? I will extend it. Okay? Make it a straight line. I will extend it. Then also, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line. Okay? From the center of the mirror. Of course, if the mirror you are using is 10 cm, then the center will be what? 5 cm. Mm -hmm. So at the 5 cm, I'm going to draw a perpendicular line downwards. Okay? This is what we are going to do. Then after drawing a perpendicular line downwards, we are going to also be taking points A to C. And in this case, we are going to try for five different cases. The first case is going to be when A to C, AC, when AC, which is equal to X here, is equal to 1. So that means that from this point to this point, we are going to give it was 1 centimeter. Okay? Then if we give it 1 centimeter from this point, okay, to the center, we are going to draw a straight line. Okay? And as we draw a straight line from this point to the center, that is going to stand for our incident rate. Okay? Then after doing the incident tray, we are going to place two pins at any point on the incident tray, point P1 and point P2. After placing the points P1 and P2, we are going to place back the mirror on the outline AB. And when placing it at outline AB, we are going to trace the reflected ray from the mirror. So we are going to watch the mirror at this position and try to block the, the lines that are being reflected by the mirror. So we'll block it at points P3 and P4. After that, we are going to draw a straight line that will join P4 and P3 to meet at Q. And we're going to extend the line to meet at towards D. Okay, so the angle between this, the angle here is referred to as our theta 1, and the angle here is referred to as our theta 2. And of course, you know, in mathematics, if you have an angle inclined in such a direction, this theta 1 is also equal to this angle here, which is theta 1. And that theta 1 will now definitely stand for our incident word angle. Then also, this theta 2 here should be equal to this, also theta 2 here. Why? Because corresponding angles are what? Equal. So in that case, we have gotten our incident ray, incident angle, and we have gotten our reflected word angle. So we are going to go to the experiment and practicalize it and let's see what we are going to get. Then after doing that, we would also take readings for when AC is equal to 2CM, when AC is equal to 3CM, when AC is equal to 4CM and 5CM respectively. But for the sake of time, I won't be doing that here. So in your own convenient time, you would run the practicals for 1 cm, 2 cm, 3 cm, 4 cm, and 5 cm, depending on what Nico asks you to do. 
Okay, so what I'm going to perform for one, I will show you how it is done so that you can prepare for the next four other values. Okay, so this, like I said, this is my mirror. Okay, and I'm going to place the mirror on the outline. Okay, place the mirror here. Okay, as I place the mirror, I'm going to draw a straight line. Of course, I told you before, we're going to draw a straight line. Then after drawing the straight line, we are going to use two pins, okay, to block the distance from here to here, C to, the distance of C to A is given as one centimeter. So you are going to measure it with your ruler, okay, one centimeter, and get this point AC. So you are going to place two pins at this point, okay, place two pins at this point, Then I'm going to also replace my mirror. So, as I replace my mirror, I'm going to use two other pins to block the reflecting lines, okay, such that they will be in straight towards lines. So, and in blocking that, I will notice that it is in this position, okay, the positions will be at this line and this line, okay. Okay. After making the, the two contacts, you are going to get a point known as P4 and point P3. So you are going to remove your mirror. After removing your mirror, you are going to extend the line point P3, point P4 to cross at the center and also extend to the line CD. So when you extend this, you are going to get the value for your theta 1, which is the angle at which this in, is inclined to. Then also theta 2, which you would use your protractor to take the readings. So in taking the readings with your protractor, you are going to place your protractor like this, okay? Then once you place it like this, you are going to read the value, okay? You are going to read the value of that angle at that particular position, okay? So, and in reading the angle, from what I'm seeing here, it is what 83. So my theta 1 is what 83. Of course, you know that the angle of incidence should also be equal to the angle of reflection. Okay? So if here is 83, of course, this should also be within 83. You can also measure that using your protractor from your diagram. Okay? So when you get, get, get 83, 83, then you also repeat the same procedure at when x is equal to 2 centimeters. So when x is equal to 2 centimeters, you will still repeat it, then my AC will no longer be 1 centimeters, but 2 centimeters. Then in that case, you also get the value for 75, 75, that is the angle of incident, the angle of reflected, reflected, reflected rate. Then the same thing you will do for 3 and 4 and 5, okay? 3 will now be 3 cm, 4 will now be 4 cm, and 5 will now be 5 cm. So we are going to take the average. 83 plus 83 is going to give us 83. 75 plus 75 gives us 75, and so on and so forth. You are going to be asked, depending on how they ask you the question, to find x inverse. Of course, to find x inverse, we know what to do. 1 over 1 is equal to 1. And we are going to round up all our values in three decimal places. Okay? So we will get the value of x inverse, and we evaluate tan theta. How do we evaluate tan theta? Tan of 83.00 is going to give us 8.144. Tan of 75 will give us this, and so on and so forth. So at the end of the day, they might tell you to plot a graph of tan theta against S inverse. Okay? Make sure you choose a suitable scale that is going to be convenient enough to accommodate the values that you've gotten here. Okay? And also, they might also ask you some subsequent questions relating to light. They might ask you to calculate the magnification or also to calculate maybe the image distance or object distance. Of course, you know you, you are supposed to know the relationship between these terms. And also, they might ask you, okay, of course, you know, state two precautions carried out in the practical. Okay? Of course, you are supposed to know what's right there. Then also, they might give you some calculation that you would use in terms of when you get your slope. So the say you evaluate k is equal to 2s, where s is our word slope. So make sure you do them the way it is supposed to be. Okay?
If you have any questions, you can comment on my page, like my page, and also subscribe because I will also be posting another video on electricity. So stay tuned and remain blessed. Thank you.